Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 7, and 6. If you are interested in videos about secular homeschooling resources, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you have come to the right place, so be sure to subscribe down below. In today's video, I'm really excited because I get to show you a new monthly letter subscription service. This one is from Dispatches from the Deep, and what makes it unique is that the creator of this letter, Emily, is an actual biologist who has worked on ocean research vessels. So I think that's extraordinary and brings this touch of authenticity and scientific accuracy to this letter that you might not find in every single letter subscription service that you see. So I have not opened them yet. This is how it arrives in this beautiful iridescent blue type of envelope. She sent me two of them very graciously in exchange for my honest review, though I do think that I will be subscribing because we are doing a little bit of ocean study this year. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the envelopes from the top just with this scissor here. Slice it open along the top so that I don't disturb the beautiful little sticker so my kids can see it. So this is the contents of the first letter. You have this fairly thick letter here, which I believe is three pages of a letter. And then you also have a shiver of sharks game. So you have like a roll game over here and they are all printed on this blue type of parchment paper. So when you look at the letter itself, you can see here at the top, it has the um, coordinates of where the ship is, the ship name and her name, Captain Claire Redfield. So it says, good evening from on board the research vessel Galatea. It's in type font, like typewriter font, which is very cool. Um, it says, recently I was witness to the incredible rescue of a right whale that was entangled in a fishing line. I then followed the rescue crew back to Woods Hole, Massachusetts and decided to stay for a while in that famous home of oceanographic research. While there, I just set out to learn all I could and soon heard about something of great interest to the scientific community and fishermen alike, the amazing recovery and recent population boom of the gray seal in the Western North Atlantic Ocean. The way the letters are designed is that the initial part of the letter is this report by Claire, which is really nice to read aloud to younger children, especially. And then obviously these illustrations as well. So you have this full letter. And then you have more facts in your other two pages about the animals that she talks about in the letter. So you have the gray seal, sometimes called the hook nose sea pig or the horse head seal due to the long nose that fully grown males develop. It talks about how they feed and how long they grow. Then it talks about how great white sharks are less agile than seals and rely on stealth and ambush and their hunting techniques. And then you have a picture of a fish that the gray seal is fond of eating. You have more information about sharks on the other page here and the movement and the anatomy of a great white shark. And then you also have a dispatch dictionary. So here you have this illustration of a jaw of a great white shark, but you also have a list of different vocab and definitions that are relevant to the topic from words that you may know, like extinct and rookery to words that are a little bit more complicated, like extirpated or mesopredator or um, cephalopod. I really like the feel of the pages. They have this like nice parchment like quality to them. Another thing that I should mention about the paper itself is that it is Forest Stewardship Council certified. It's made out of 30% recycled material and it's also chlorine free. When I get into the second letter, I can see that the paper is the same type of paper, but it is printed on this like sort of green parchmenty color, which is fitting because it kind of goes with the turtle sticker here. And so when you open the letter itself, again, it is a three page letter. And you have this beautiful illustration at the bottom of dolphins. And it says, Land Ho Bermuda. I've been traveling south on the Atlantic Ocean for almost 700 nautical miles, recently arriving at the archipelago of Bermuda. And it talks about how the trip was amazing, what sleeping out at sea was like. It talks about the different parts of the boat, like the bridge. It talks about how people of ancient Greece had a love of dolphins. And so this picture here kind of replicates that Grecian pattern, right? And here again, you have the coordinates and her name. And on the back of the letter, it has this beautiful illustration of the Sargasso Sea and where Bermuda is and how um, you have the fear of the Bermuda Triangle and how the Sargasso Sea and the seaweed itself contributed to that sort of mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. 
It talks about different explanations for the Bermuda Triangle oddities, from natu natural magnetic anomalies to paranormal activity like extraterrestrial life theories abound. Um, my favorite theory is that the lost city of Atlantis is interfering with navigation. So that's a really nice way of incorporating history and culture and mythology all together in this letter of the ocean. The next pages have this beautiful illustration of a sea turtle and more of her adventure. And then you have more explanation of sea turtles themselves and their structure and how they travel and feed and other things that she encountered in Bermuda. And then, of course, you come to the Dispatch Dictionary, which includes lots of different vocab words like archipelago and estuary, um, a hold fast, I don't know what that is, a root-like structure that anchors aquatic sessile organisms such as seaweed to the seafloor or other object. There you go. My favorite thing about homeschooling by far is just learning these things that I never learned when I was a kid. Um, the common dolphin, the Atlantic flying fish. And then there's a quote here from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. And the back of the page has flying fish paper airplane instructions. And I imagine that your other sheet of paper is a paper that has everything to do with your flying fish. So you have, yes, you have an outline of fold lines for where your flying fish should be folded and then clear instructions for what you should fold and how you can decorate it, etc. So that's the activity here. The last letter had a game. This one has a little bit of flying fish activity. And since I have three kids, what I would probably do with this is make two more copies. I would just put it in a copy machine and see if I could um, copy it or I would just try to trace it maybe like go over this one with um, a permanent marker and trace my own for the other two on typing paper so so I think the quality of these letters is amazing I think they are really gorgeous the illustrations are just beautiful I especially love the the wide sargasso sea one here I think that the value is amazing because basically you could do a yearly subscription for just 60 bucks and I think that's a great value, just $5 a month for like a, a complete unit study done for you throughout the year. One of my favorite things about letters like this is they provide the opportunity to do a casual unit study. I am not a huge unit study kind of teacher. And I think this introduces a little bit of interest and whimsy into learning in a continuous type of way. So for example, if you subscribe to a letter like this about the ocean throughout the years of your homeschooling, you will learn a lot about the ocean without any effort on your part. And so I encourage you to look into Dispatches from the Deep. Again, they are written by a biologist, which I think lends so much accuracy to material like this, especially when it's a scientific type of letter. And the paper is environmentally friendly and the price is excellent as well. Thank you so much to Emily for sending me these for my review. I look forward to subscribing myself because we actually started out the year with a little ocean study. And I will be doing a video soon about some of the resources that we're using for that ocean study. Thank you so much to Emily for sending me these letters in exchange for my honest review. I look forward to subscribing myself because we are doing a little bit of ocean study this year. And if you are interested in subscribing yourself, all the relevant links will be in the description box down below. As always, you guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me and I wish you the very best day.